Why, hello there, and welcome to another Weathering Waves discussion video. I hope that you are doing well. I hope this video finds you well. Um, today is going to be a pretty cozy, chill discussion video. We're going to be talking about some things that I would like to see the developers do for the game in the future. So if that's something that you're into, let's get right into it. So I have to be upfront and admit that the idea is not unique. My idea is definitely not unique or special. It is just something that other gacha games do that Weathering Waves has not done yet, which is a housing system. There's no housing system. And I mean, there are gotcha games that don't have a housing system that has happened before at times, and that's fine and all. But I think that with the way that the game is set up and everything, there are some cool ideas that could be done with the housing system. And so I kind of want to make a case for it today, like why it would be worth it for the developers to put time and effort into making a housing system for the game. So now that you know what the video is going to be about, we're going to jump right in and start talking about some of the reasons why I think a housing system would be great for this game. The first reason, the very first reason, which is the most obvious reason, is just having more interaction with the characters. This is something that Genshin does pretty well that they could do better, actually. But, um, you know, it is what it is. But um, yeah, there are interaction bits of like text and voice acting and stuff that you can get out of the housing system in Genshin that allows you to learn a little bit more about the characters. And that's always really cool. I think this is probably the most obvious primary thing that like a housing system is meant to do in a gacha game. It's like to give you more time to spend with the characters to allow you to like deepen your understanding of them to get more nuance into like, you know, the depth of their character or whatever or how they are in a more casual environment outside of like the more serious environments of like the main story or whatever, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I, I think that that would just be a great thing. <laughs> they could even have like rewards for leveling up like your friendship level with the characters and gaining um, access to like a deeper connection, quote unquote, with the characters. You could get special like furniture or something like that from the characters when you hit a certain like friendship level with them that allows you to like decorate their space in a more unique way. Stuff like that could be really cool. The next idea that I had, which is it was actually kind of the first idea I had, which made me think of making this video is that I feel like it would be kind of cool since we can farm echoes and echoes sort of have like these abilities where we can like summon them and use them in combat. Like it would be kind of cool if we could like summon echoes in our housing system and use them for like passive resource farming or like just to like maybe set up combat scenarios inside of our little like housing system that allows us to like, I don't know, just mess around or something like that. Like we farm these echoes. They even have shiny versions of them, which are like special looking versions of the echoes and there's really like you can do like a little bit of a display thing with them with the one, one of the utility things but like I feel like having a housing system where you could show off your shiny echoes you could show off your special echoes you could set up like funny scenes where you just like set up echoes in a certain way that's kind of funny maybe you can manipulate the animations or something like that like I have like all sorts of ideas that I think would be kind of cool with the echoes in the housing system and that's something that I think that they should think about doing honestly I thought about this because because of pal world because like you can have the pals running around doing stuff farming resources for you and stuff like that and i thought that would be kind of fun if that kind of system was in weathering waves just like a little bit of resource farming passively and that gives you a little bit of like extra something for farming all those echoes so the next reason is actually something that i've seen hoyoverse do in recent years with genshin which is adding in like the ability to do like unique parkour challenges or set up obstacle courses or mini games or other little like activities that you can do with your friends inside of the housing system i kind of mentioned mentioned this already but like you know setting up like unique combat challenges with your echoes or whatever but that could be part of this as well like you could set up unique combat scenarios that your friends could challenge and you could like see who can clear it the fastest or who can take the least amount of damage or like have like leaderboards within your housing system that people can challenge things like that um stuff like that maybe even some like casual pvp where it's like there's no rewards it's just for fun but like you can hit your team against your friend's team and see who comes out on top. There's just like a lot of like room for interaction, especially since like this is technically a co-op game. And I know that like the majority of the gameplay is basically single player gameplay, but like the housing system could add a lot of like points of interaction. So basically when you're doing co-op with your friends, there's more to do than just like run around and kill stuff on the map. And now we're going to wrap up with one more reason, which is another really obvious one, which is simply that it's fun 
to decorate a housing system. Like it's fun to just like be creative and see what you can come up with and create a cool little environment. It's just fun to goof around in systems like that. I think that would be cool. Like communities can do like competitions, you know, like housing competitions, like who did the best decorations or whatever. And you could add also just like farming for resources within the overworld or maybe the echoes like in the housing system, farm resources that you use to build stuff or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, the point is it would just be fun to have a housing system to decorate. And those are all the reasons that I have for you today as to why they should add a housing system into Wuthering Waves. Let me know in the comments what you think. I would love to hear like whether you agree with me, like should they add a housing system? I know some people will probably think like, nah, they should just focus their efforts elsewhere. But I do think that it is a worthwhile addition to the game, even if not everyone's going to use it, like you can still add passive, like I said, passive resource farming and stuff like that to make it worthwhile for people to invest a little bit of time into the system so that they can get like a return in the actual game and make it maybe a a little bit easier to build their characters maybe it's like a source of like tuners or something that we can have where like it'll ease a little bit of like the resource strain from the game which is pretty intense right now i do have to admit like i'm leveling up my teams and stuff and you need like three teams for the end game or whatever and um it's just like a lot it's quite intense to level up these characters if you enjoyed the chill vibes and stuff like that then please leave a like on the video i'm trying to grow as a small creator and it would mean a lot if you would help me out i have a friendly discord the link will be pinned in um um, a comment will also be in my link tree, which is in the description of all my stuff. And yeah, I would love to see some new faces in that discord. We're very friendly, very chill, small community. And we just play like Weathering Waves and Hoyoverse games and stuff like that. I play a bunch of different games, but that's what like this community is sort of centered around. So, you know, we talk about a lot of stuff, but that is sort of what I have built this community around. I feel like in the gacha YouTube space, there's not really a lot of like just chill, friendly content creators. There's a lot of tension. There's a lot of drama. There's a lot of stuff like that. And honestly, I just I just try to enjoy my games like I'm just trying to have fun I do want to complain when there are issues about a game of course of course but I genuinely care about having fun and having a good time and so my community is definitely something I'm proud of everyone is just really chill in my discord there's very little drama it's just people hanging out and enjoying the game progressing sharing their wins sharing their losses and their frustrations yeah that's pretty much all I have for you today I will be back with another video soon I'm trying to keep it consistent with the posting, but work has been really crazy because I started at a new store and my schedule is all over the place. And so like, I'm just doing the best I can. That's all I can say. I also stream once or twice a week here on YouTube. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you hit the bell notification thingy so that you can stay up to date with my channel and see the new content as it comes out. I will see you in the next one. And until then, do me an itty bitty favor and drink yourself some water.